Uh, today I want to talk about unemployment rate in Kenya, especially for our graduates. Uh, those people who are graduating with their masters, with their degrees, yeah, I want to talk about unemployment to that class of people. Uh, let's just be honest. In Kenya, the unemployment rate is just so high and only those who are lucky enough to have godfathers, to have people who can connect them, and only those people who have God's favor, they just end up landing quite collar jobs. Otherwise, majority of us, uh, we end up doing something very different from what we graduated from. Majority of us, when we, once you graduate, the society now starts seeing you as someone who should be responsible. Like you should be responsible for what you're going to eat. You should be responsible for what you're going to feed. Uh, to to where to what, how we are going to live like how how we are going to pay your your rent and in some instances also you should be responsible in, enough to also support your younger siblings in case if you have younger siblings and it's not like our parents are kind of inhuman or maybe our guardians are kind of inhuman but life in Kenya is kind of difficult and for them even to afford our school fees it was kind of hassle so it is just comes without saying that once you graduate, you are supposed to. Now from there, you are supposed to to know how you are going to survive. You are supposed to now act like someone who's matured enough, and to pay all your bills. And wow. I remember once I was there, and honestly, it's a very depressive moment. I remember once I graduated, uh, back in twenty seventeen. I was supposed to graduate in 2016, but I graduated in 2017. I remember once I graduated, I went around looking for a job like someone who was crazy. I had some few coins with me, like I had money. I honestly don't know where I call my top. I had money. And I remember I spent and that my like my entire entire everything that I had just going around looking for jobs, like dropping my CVs, dropping my papers everywhere and anywhere even even if they have not requested for them like i i was not waiting to see to get um like position to be advertised for me to apply for jobs i used to apply like so crazy and after all that hassle i did not get any job i did not like I did not get any job, and that was situation back then. So, and the more we continue, we continue with years, the more the situation keep on getting worse. So, I want to believe right now the situation is even worse. And so, majority of graduates who are graduating, they are just outside here, not knowing what to do. So, majority of people who graduate in Kenya, they end up um, after they have graduated, they end up looking for something different for them to just earn a living they end up doing something so different from what they they from their careers and that was me and i don't know for you what you have done or maybe what you tried to do for you to just survive in nairobi okay wherever you are but as for me i tried a number of online jobs and i'm not here to diss about other online jobs because uh People have done different only jobs and they were good to them because after all, the only thing you want at that point when you graduate is only to, to afford your life. And it's very difficult to even afford your life because the transition process, like, you know, um, when you are in campus, you rely fully on your parents. Like I used to rely fully on my parents and my guardians. So anything I wanted, if I wanted part, if I wanted credit, if I wanted anything, I, it was readily avi- available to me and immediately now I graduated life changed because I could not even get the courage of facing anyone and asking for them for anything because the, the society now view me as someone who should should afford your life like come on your parents already, already t- took you to school and they have given you the education and you have already graduated uh, what else do you need from your parents or maybe your guardians? And so uh, I was forced to <laughs> to do very weird jobs, honestly. I think one day I will just do a video to just highlight uh, many jobs that I have done because where me, if there is someone who has come out in this Nairobi, in Kenya, like I, I feel like I, I am among the people who have really tarmacked. 
because um too bad for me i didn't have anybody like literally anybody anybody that that i could turn to i'm sorry i had literally nobody that i could turn to requesting for assistance and yeah that was my situation and so i and so i had to to just know how i'm going to survive and so i ended up doing very crazy job but for today i'm only going to talk about my online jobs that i did i have tried doing transcription i have tried doing academic writing i have tried doing what else mhm i think those were the main things that i tried doing and for the academic writing by the way i started doing it while i was still in campus so guys there is something that people who don't know about academic writing now, but the academic writing now is not like the academic writing back then like in 2017 academic writing by then it was not like so flooded like right now and people could make millions of money back then and anybody nowadays who fear that someone is doing academic writing they view them as people who um like they are getting easy money where i want to talk about academic writing in the angle that it is because as much as people view academic writing as something like so easy it has its pros and it also has its cons and once one of the pro of the it advantage it has is, is that uh it's not easy money but you can get your, your money like I especially if you are when we are dealing with direct direct clients we normally call them dcs you can get your money as soon as like any day any day you don't have like to wait like uh, how we normally wait like for the end month for you to receive your money your payment or your salary uh, for academic rating uh, it's one of the advantages that you can get your money anytime you want anytime now that uh the whatever determined is how you are going to communicate to the dc and how like your agreement between you and your client so that's one of the advantage another advantage is that um you can do it at, the, at your comfort like you can do it when you're home you can do it wherever you are as long as you have your laptop and you have your internet so you can do it at your comfort anytime that you feel like you're comfortable but there is something that people don't understand as much as it looks like it's so easy job academic rate is one hey, academic rating where is one of the most difficult thing <laughs> that i have ever tried uh not necessarily like everything that i was doing was so difficult but at times you are just forced to take an assignment that you feel that it, it is difficult but because you need money you just try to crush your head about it and you end up getting a lot of revisions If there is something that discouraged me to from doing academic writing guys where well, it was the revisions hmm. but you know for me I, i think i'm this type of a person who i'm not afraid to face anything so when you give me any assignment as long as i'm relying on online i'll just say that yeah i, I will try let me just uh, find a way out if i will do it so i think as for me i used to take any any assignment that comes my way just because i needed a lot of money and that i learned the hard way because i used to get a lot of uh, revisions and the funniest bit is that a lot many of the revisions i used to get them at night but that be, that's because um you know majority of our, our di- direct clients are people from us are people from uk from uh, germany like and we have time difference yeah and so most of the time when we are supposed to be sleeping that's when they are, when they are awake in like the morning during the day so most of the time when you get to those revisions it's normally those odd hours and wow i almost went to depression during that time because they were just a lot of revisions <laughs> that i used to have and I, that's not the case for everybody so if you are planning to get into this industry of academic writing i'm not here to discourage you i'm just here to tell you the truth that at times it, it is normally so depressive because of revisions where and some revisions you can just write like almost 10 pages or maybe more than 10 pages and then revision comes and you are supposed to redo every entire everything you are supposed to do like a new 10 pages and a new job 
and you're not going to be paid like to be paid like twice because it's a revision so it's, you are the one who did something wrong in the first instance so there is no one who's going to compensate you twice so that was the biggest discouragement that i i remember guy i don't know if i should say this because i don't know i don't know i remember there was this time i used to do dissertations where i used to do dissertations and you know for dissertations you have to first write what is it called you have to to write a proposal and then once the the project the, the topic has been approved then from there now you you take the the, the dissertation yeah so i used to do that so before even the the proposal to be accepted it was a hassle because it was a lot of revision you just pro, uh, submit your proposal and then the the the, the lecturer I don't, I don't know how they call it the lecturer their twitter just said that uh they just disagree with a given objective and you are supposed to do to redo everything and another instance is <laughs> that i experienced that was almost the worst thing is when you are supposed to do a project and so you you have been given a proposal and you've been given all the objectives and then you're supposed to write a project and once you are already done with your project like you've already completed your dissertation and then you've submitted and you do this for dissertation it used to be like a lot of pages i used to do like more than 30 pages for dissertation though it was good money because i think for per page i was being paid I think for 50 or 400 so it was good money and it was like uh i can't do for like uh, within a week i'm done even before a week it's done like I, I was done and i'm being paid my money but for dissertation it was like hell because once you've already completed and you have submitted then the, the twitter just decides to change your your objective and for those people who know about dissertation, once an objective is being changed, like it changes everything. It changes everything. So like you are supposed to, to, to redo the entire project. There. <sighs> Guys, for those people who are still doing academic writing, honestly, I feel like you should just salute you because I think it was not for me. But I, when I was doing it, I really enjoyed it because I, I, for a couple of years, I survived with academic writing and yeah that's one of the disadvantage about academic writing another disadvantage is long working hours where some people just think that because you're just working inside your indoors all the time then you have ample time but for academic writing that's not the case most of the time i remember i used to work long hours like i used to work long hours and anyway i'm going if I'm going to say hi to my friend, I used to carry my laptop like someone who is so crazy because I can just get a revision at, at, at any time. And as long as you're doing academic writing, then your phone at no point is supposed to be off because you can receive calls even at even at 2, 2 a.m. You can receive any calls at any, like at any time asking you to do revisions and wow that was not that was not like a bed of roses uh, another dis another disadvantage of academic writing that i i experienced was um that's too bad was um people just refusing to pay you even after submitting the job wow and that is something that is so painful i remember I remember, especially when I was in campus, there was this time I was doing academic writing. I was just a new buy in the industry. And I remember I did small, small assignments, small, small assignments. And it was more than 10 pages of small, small assignments. And by then, per page, I was supposed to be paid 250 shillings. <laughs> you know, by then, by then, by then, they were not paid like so much and like they are doing being paid right now. So I remember... I, I didn't get my payment. Like the person who I was doing assignment for just refused to pay me. And you know, for academic rating, there is nothing you can do. Like you can't say that you're going to report someone to the police station or anything. Because in first instance, like academic rating is something wrong. <laughs> you're doing something wrong. So I think so when someone just decides not to pay you, you 
you just do nothing. And so, where? And not only that, Kai, oh my goodness. I remember the last time I did a academic, the last dissertation I did. Actually, the reason why I stopped doing dissertation is because <laughs> I was not paid the last dissertation. Oh my goodness, but that was so painful. That was re- really painful. And I remember, where? But I thank God by then, I used, uh, like, I used not to be the one who is supposed to be to pay all the bills because I remember after I, I, <laughs> I was not paid that dissertation, I just stopped doing academic writing. I said that I'm not going to spend my sleepless night only doing something that I'm not going to receive payment, only to be doing revision each and every night. Like, it was so depressive. I felt so bad. Because I remember for that one dissertation, I did a lot of revisions. Like, I did a lot of revision. I remember it was 54 pages. Like, I can't forget about that. It was 54 pages. I did the entire 54 pages. The entire... I don't know if it was proposal plus dissertation that was adding up to 54 pages. And I, I was only given a down payment of 10,000. Yeah, I was given a down payment of 10,000. But the entire balance, I did. I, I, I was not paid nothing. And but per page, I was supposed to be paid. I don't remember if it was 450 or 450 or 400 i'm not even remembering so well but for dissertation they normally compensate so well because um dissertation mostly they are done when you are about to graduate so they normally compensate so well because it's something that is a determining factor uh in their in their course yeah so guys if you are planning to enter into academic writing it's a very good field because you get your Not easy money, but you get your money very fast if you are lucky. But just be ready to have those sleepless nights. Just be ready to receive calls in single time. Just be ready to get thousands of revisions. Just be open to the fact that sometimes your client can just refuse to pay you. And that only means that if you are trying to enter into academic writing, just know it's not for the week. It is not for the weak. And don't even dare think that that's easy money. Because unlike Forex and unlike other, I don't know about Forex, but unlike Forex, which seems like a very easy money, like, because I, I feel like Forex most of the time, I feel like it's like gambling. <laughs> for gambling, most of the time it's easy money if you are lucky. But for academic writing, like, you just have to sweat. Like, you just have to sweat for you to earn that damn money. I remember I used to have sleepless nights. I remember I used... <laughs> I was feeling like I am going to die of... Um, where? Wow, that was a hassle. So if you're planning to enter into academic writing, uh, just be ready for anything, for whatever I've told you. But also, be optimistic. Don't know that... Uh, there are some people who have done academic writing and I know them and they have excelled in that industry. But it's not for the weak, honestly. It's not for the weak. Don't go there thinking that you're going to get easy money. And plus, the industry nowadays is so much flooded. And like those times when in 2017 when I, I was a new buy, I like that time, the, the industry was not so flooded. So getting job, it was so easy. For now, I had that even getting assignments it's difficult, like it's not easy. I'm not so sure. And guys, you can just comment in the comment section and let me know when you graduated and when you are supposed to know how you're going to survive, what online job did you do? I'm just interested about online job that you did because where? For me, it was academic writing and transcription. transcription. I did get even, uh, like, I, I don't know so much about transcription, like the, the negative part of it because I only did like just few assignments, I think even called assignment. I just did few of them, and the person who I was training me, I can the seasons, and then I just stopped doing them. So the main thing that I have done is academic writing, and oh my goodness, it helped me. But that thing is so stressful. And another thing before I even wind up, I wind up I, before I even wind up academic writing. 
needs a clear mind like for you to do academic writing you need to have like a so fresh mind academic writing is not, not something that you do when you are so stressed like it's not <laughs> it's not that something that you do like especially if you are a wife it's not something you do when you are under pressure like you have uh like you quarreled with your husband you've quarreled with your, with your girlfriend you've quarreled with your with your, with your landlord you've quarreled. it needs a fresh mind it needs a peace of mind <laughs> and so most of the time i think if you are not like if you are, your mind is not settled academic writing can be a hell can be something hell like where i don't even want to begin talking about <laughs> about that so guys comment in the comment section and let me know your journey of doing anything any any academic any online job that you did and what you can advise anybody out there who wants to who is trying to to do something to do something to earn a living because i believe there are so many graduates outside there outside there who they don't have a job and they don't know what to do for me i can advise you for academic writing i can honestly advise you and for, and for transcription also i can advise you actually transcription is, is so is so easier compared to academic writing because academic writing uh i cannot say it's difficult but it's based on the question the assignment that you're going to receive sometimes assignment can be so difficult sometimes uh the client can be so difficult sometimes I, I, the twitter can be looking for something specific that you missed maybe in your assignment so for academic writing is not easier but it's something doable because i did it when actually i started doing it even when i, I, I was before i graduated and i was earning a living a, a, a good living enough to pay my rent enough to 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 keep me like to pay for all my upkeep and yeah so guys thank you for watching until the end please comment in the comment section and let us know what did you do and what can i do advise someone who is trying to do that thing that you did back then.